G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today, we're gonna do some yard work. Now, who loves getting outside and helping in the yard? I bet you do. Following along behind Nan or Pop or Mum and Dad or any of the grown-ups really with your very own garden tools. Now, we're gonna focus on some grown-up garden tools. We've got some lawn mowers. We've got a hedger. We've got a lion trimmer or a whippersnipper or as some people call it, a weed eater. And we've also got a blower or a leaf blower. Kids, it's gonna be so much fun. And today we're gonna to get started with some lawn mowing. Let's get stuck in. Today we've got two different types of lawn mowers. They're both Ryobi, they're both bright green and black, and they both look really cool. But there is one main difference between the two. This one here runs on petrol power. This one here is electric or battery power. Now with the electric one, the battery one, that's where it gets its power. So you just plug that into the wall and once that's full, pop it back in there and she's good to go. Now there are a few other differences, but all push mowers pretty much have the same parts. So let's have a look at some of those. Now this big black thing here, that's called the deck. And on top of the deck sits the engine. Now when we're mowing the lawn, the deck can go high or low to cut the grass shorter or longer. Now to control that height, over here we have a height adjuster. So if you just push that all the way down, we're gonna cut the grass really short. If you pull it all the way up, we're gonna cut the grass quite long. Then when you're cutting the grass, the blade is under here and it cuts the grass and all the off-cut grass comes into here. This is called the catch. Then when the catch is full, just take it off like that and dump that into the rubbish bin. Now with this electric mower, the way to start it is by pushing this button in and holding this down just like this. Now that that's off, I'm gonna show you underneath the lawnmower. So we flip it on its side. Now remember I said the engine's up here. The engine drives this thing here, and that's the blade. And when it drives it, when it's on, it spins around really, really quick. And when that spins around, it's gonna chomp through that grass and spit it out into the catch. That is the electric mower. Then kids, we have the petrol mower. Now before we start using the petrol mower, we need to make sure it's full of petrol or gas. That's right. And that's kept in here. So we're just gonna unscrew the lid and you can just look in there and I can see that it's got a little bit of petrol, but it's gonna need some more. So lucky, I've got one of these things, which is called a jerry can and that's full of petrol. So you pull this little bit out and just really carefully and usually, this is done by an adult, kids, and you just pour the petrol in, just like that. Okay, so once you've got enough petrol in here, pop that lid back on there, and then always make sure you put this guy back on here and screw it on really tight. All right, there's one more thing you need to check. 
with the petrol lawn mower and that's called the oil. So over here, we have a little oil cap which we can screw off just like that and it's got a little dipstick on the end of it. It's got a H for high and an L for low. And you can see that the level of the oil is sitting on the H. So that's got lots and lots of oil. It's good to go, which means this lawnmower is ready to be used to chomp through some of this grass. Now when we're ready to start the lawnmower, a bit different to the electric one, we're gonna pull this lever down to where it says start. Then you need to use all your strength and then you need to pull on this lever here. And that's how you start the petrol mower. When you want to stop it, you see what I just did there? Just pull that back to the stop position. Now, when you're using any of this equipment in the yard to do any of the yard work, you need to make sure that you remember safety first, of course. So, we're gonna put on some safety goggles and some ear protection. And then when you're using the hedger or the whipper snipper, it's also safe to use some gloves. You don't really need them for lawn mowing. But look at this yard, kids. It's looking a bit long. I think I'm ready to cut some grass. So come on, let's start with the electric one. Hey kids, that is the electric or the battery powered mower. It does a pretty sweet job, but let's have a crack at the petrol one.
There you go, kids. I think this grass is looking pretty good. What do you think? But I think we need to do something else. These edges need to be done, don't they? Let's go and get that whippersnipper and do those edges. Come on. Okay, kids, I'm gonna come and grab my whippersnipper over here. This one is battery operated. So this battery just slides in and out. Down here, we have the blades. We wanna make sure we keep our fingers and hands and everything well and truly clear of those while it's running. To get it started, all you need to do is press this and then pull up on the handle. Now we wanna make sure, just like with the lawnmower, that we've got our safety gear on. Protect our eyes, protect our ears, and protect our hands. And now, we can start cutting. There you go kids, that's hot and sweaty work. Good thing I've got my sweatband. So we've done the lawns, we've done those edges, they're looking nice and neat, but we've made an almighty mess, haven't we? There's grass clippings and there's leaves everywhere. Now what are we gonna use to clean up these leaves? A leaf blower. So let's go and grab that and get all this cleaned up, come on. Okay kids, I've got my trusty leaf blower here. This one is also battery powered and it's the same battery that the whippersnipper used. So we can just take that, pop it in there, which is good to go. This one's pretty simple. All you do is press that button and off she goes. But let's protect our ears, shall we? So we'll put our ear muffs back on and we'll protect our eyes at the same time with our glasses. We're good to go.
So there you go, kids. That's the leaf blower. Things are looking pretty clean around here. The leaf blowing is one of my favorite things to do. It was always my favorite when I was a kid because it's really easy to do and you can't really get it wrong. It's very, very safe. So if you want to try one of these things at home with your grown up, leaf blower is the way to go. And you know the best thing about it? It means you're almost finished. Now there is one more piece of equipment that I had over there. And that was, do you remember? It was a hedge trimmer, wasn't it? There's a mighty big hedge over there and needs a lot of trimming. So come on, come and help me with the hedge trimming. Let's go. All right, kids. The next thing up is our hedge trimmer or our hedger. Now this guy uses the same battery as the whipper snipper and the blower. Pretty handy, hey? Just pop that on there. That's good to go. Now this is a very important part of this hedge trimmer. That's because it protects you from cutting yourself on the blades. This is a tool that should only be used by grown-ups. Now the safety feature is this little button here, or this big button here. You grab that and then you press these two buttons. And just like that, these things go back and forth really, really fast and that's what chops through the hedges. So, safety first, of course. We're gonna put our ear protection and our eye protection on and also protect our hands. And then we can start trimming this hedge. There you go kids, I reckon this hedge is looking pretty good. And I reckon this whole yard is looking pretty amazing. Thanks so much for your help, thanks for joining me today. Remember when you're helping out in the yard with grown-ups, maybe start with just your toys or even the blower. That's a really good one to start when you're a little kid. Kids, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've learnt lots, and I hope that you've had lots of fun in the yard just like I have. We'll see you on our next video and until then, stay keen. I've got some leaves to rake up. Ozzy Ozzy Ozzy, Ozzy Ozzy Ozzy, Ozzy Ozzy, 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 G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now I'm super excited about this one and I know you will be too because I know a lot of you love diggers. That's right, check out all this equipment behind me. I've come down to a place called MCS Civil and they have all sorts of construction equipment, lots of big diggers and rollers and water tanks. 
but we're going to focus on this one today, and that's an eight ton excavator. That's right, it's just a really big digger. We're going to get up close and personal, and Ozzy is even going to drive it. So why don't we go and get stuck in? But before we do, safety first of course. I need to get into my safety gear. So, I've got the two important things, a hard hat and a high-vis shirt. Let's go and take a closer look. So kids, come with me and let's check out the outside of the digger and we'll check out all the different parts. So these diggers don't have wheels, they have these, which are called tracks, and that's what helps the digger drive forwards and backwards. We've got some mirrors so that we can see where we're going and when we're driving. Now this big thing here, this big arm, that's called a boom up to here, and then the end of it is called a dipper, and at the end of the dipper is a bucket. And that arm is controlled by these hydraulic cylinders. Now this thing, this bucket, this particular one, is called a mud bucket. And that's because it's really big, and it can pick up lots and lots of dirt. Then it's got this smooth edge, because it's used for finishing and getting a nice smooth finish on the surface of the job that you're working on. We also have buckets that have really big teeth on the end and they're used for breaking rocks and digging big holes. Let's go and see what else we can find. Check this thing out. This thing's called a blade. That's like a mini bulldozer, isn't it? And that's used for pushing the dirt and materials forward. So this side is another track and that's used for driving us forwards and backwards. Now this big thing here, that's called the cab. And that's where the driver sits and uses all those different controls to make the bucket go up and down and the arm move left and right. We'll get into detail in a minute. But let's check out the rest. On the back here, we've got some safety features. We've got the flashing light at the top. We've got a camera so that you can see what's behind you when you're driving. And a really important one, that's the safety stop button. So if anything's going wrong, bang, you hit that and everything shuts down and you'll be safe. And then of course at the back here, that's where the engine sits. And that's what drives and keeps this beautiful digger going. So, should we get inside, see if we can give it a drive? Let's go. Safety first, kids. Put this thing down. Let's go. Woohoo! How cool is this? So there's so many different controls in this cab. You can see that one that I was holding with my left hand made the cab go to the right. And if I went the other way, it would go back to the left. This one, that's gonna make the arm go up and down and the bucket go tilt back or tilt forwards. Let's see it in action. Look at that, so I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna see if I can grab that big bit of dirt there. So kids, I've just picked up a big lot of dirt and I need to move it back around this way to make sure the vehicle is nice and sturdy. All right, so now with that facing forward, we're a whole lot more stable. So to drive it forwards, we just need to push these two handles here, which you can also do with your feet. How cool is that? That way we can have our hands on the handles and our feet on the pedals. And then when we've got it to where we need to be, we're just gonna use our hands and we're gonna push the bucket and the arm out and we're gonna dump it out onto the ground. And how cool is that? We've moved the arm and the bucket. And we've moved some dirt. Hey, how much fun is that?
This control on the left hand here, if I push it to the right, it's going to spin the whole cab around to the right. And if I push it the other way, which is our left, it's going to spin to the left. And then this control on my right hand, if I pull it up, it's going to make that arm go up, up, up into the air. Just like that. And I can push this left hand out and it makes the bucket go out. And I pull it down and it makes the bucket come back in. And push this one down, it makes it go down. And remember, with our feet, we can drive forward. And I'm gonna reach out and pick up some more dirt. Okay kids, so we've seen how that boom and the dipper and the bucket, which makes the big arm of the excavator, we've seen how that works and moves the dirt around. I'm going to show you now using this lever how we operate the blade. So we're going to push the lever down and then using these two handles we can move the excavator forward and that pushes the dirt makes it nice and smooth and flat. Look at all that dirt. So we're using it almost like a bulldozer. And then when it's where we need it to be, we can just move backwards, always making sure we have a look in the camera and our mirrors to make sure that there's no one around us. Because safety first always, kids. So I'll show you again, just with that blade, down like that, and we want to go forwards. Just like a mini bulldozer, look at all that dirt that we're pushing forwards, pushing it, and making the ground nice and flat. How cool is this? So much fun driving a big digger like this. So who wants to be a construction worker when they're older and drive big diggers like this? It's so much fun.
big thank you to MCS Civil for allowing Aussie to come down and teach you kids all about this awesome digger. See you on our next video. Until then, stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of